Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome to another come with me. Okay, I'm here in Ventura, California, about 59 miles north of me. I've never been here before, so I hope you guys enjoy this come with me. It's like a hardware store and a nursery all put together. So let me know down in the comments below if you love nurseries like this where it's a hardware store and a nursery all at once. I'm really excited to check this place out and uh, kind of interested to see what kind of plants they have out here in Ventura. I've never been out in Ventura before, so definitely a very fun, interesting place for me to explore. Oh my goodness, okay. What should I do? Should I go in this section first or should I go in the greenhouse? I don't know, okay. This place is so cool and I'm really excited to see if there's anything that I may not have in my collection that they might have here. Which is uh, surprising to see every single nursery I've been to yesterday and today. I ended up picking up plants so stay tuned for a plant haul. Superstore grocery store for plants and I love that. Look at these begonias. They're priced for about $23 to $25 each. I love how they have the bunny planters. Very cute. Easter is right around the corner. I have these little Talanzias, love that. About under 10 bucks. Bigger guys here, priced for $8. But what I'm most interested in, and I can't help myself, but here's all of the Sensivarius here. Kind of interested to see. Maybe I could get another one to redeem myself if it's not that expensive, we'll see. Like this one is a really nice one. Ooh, this one too is nice. Okay, I'm getting sidetracked in. Let's go in the greenhouse first. Ooh, they have a copper tone. Yes, I'm all over the place when it comes to going into new nurseries. You never know. Oh my gosh, what's your my see? last location of the day? Plant nursery number three. All new nurseries I've never been to before, and I'm in the middle of their greenhouse. I'm overwhelmed anytime I come into a greenhouse, even if. I have the plants just to see them ganged up makes me happy like say for instance the Hoya kernels to tricolor I have four of them why because any single thing that just kind of stands out to me on each plant like say for instance just that alone makes me want to get the plant that nice variegation but kind of interested to see if there's anything that I don't have in my collection like take a look at the big foliage on this Clusifolia. I love Peperomias. This one is super healthy. Like take a look at that. That is so stunning. And mine's isn't doing that great. So I might get one. We'll see. Like say for instance, like that one isn't as full as compared to this one right here. Like that is really nice. And since I collect peperomias, and if one isn't doing really good, I don't mind getting a replacement. So we'll see. Under $15, that is not that bad. Right next to that is a Maranta prayer plant. I don't know what this is. This looks like some kind of Tomelia? Tomia? Sometimes these plants look like weeds, although some weeds are really nice. You just never know. The calatheas and the peace lilies are here. Here's an ivy. The bromeliads is here. They remind me of my old fitness club that I used to work at. And then we come into the red congos here. So this is a congo green. And I don't have a congo in the green variation. I have a red one. But take a look at this ornamental banana red plant. Isn't this something? Look at that. That is so cool. Very tropical plant. I've never seen this plant before. And this goes for right under $30. Just never know. We got some potos up here. Some potos enjoy. And I love seeing alocasias here. I'm kind of interested to see how much is this alocasia. My dream alocasia is always around $100. This one is priced for $80. Not that bad. But this is the Regal. And I have the Regal Shield. This is the one that I want. The Elephant Ear, the Caladora variety is my dream plant. And of course, it is priced for $80. But one day, I will get it. And I'm thinking that is going to be my birthday plant for this year. Or maybe if Julian doesn't buy any plants for two weeks, then I'll just come back for an Elephant Ear 
because all of my plant purchases do add up really quickly like very quickly so with that being said there's some oxalis here and I don't understand why they never sell the alocasia in a smaller planter so that it's a little bit more affordable got some baby fiddle leaf figs here not that bad right well under $50 you can get this little guy and fiddle leaf figs can be very expensive this Congo right here with um, I love how it says self-heading philodendron. Price for 40 back there. So not that bad. So assorted two inchers are priced for two dollars. No way. Unless I don't think so. Like the staghorns are priced for six dollars. Look at these little fiddly figs. Oh, look at that little baby leaf coming out. Some baby rubbers. Ooh, staying away from the Hawaiian snow bush. Hey, Ebs. You hanging out? You're being such a good trooper. Help mommy film. Variegated peperomia. Obtusifolia. And the spider plant. Oh, no. Here's the begonias. They're following me. Look at this. Just look at that. Oh, my goodness. I'm dying. This is so gorgeous. I am definitely into begonias. Am I good with them? No. Uh, it's a hit and miss with begonias. Sometimes some do really great with me and then the others not so much. I just love how whimsical and charming they now are. Here is a peperomia caparata or the ripple. Not doing that great. These guys love living in my bathroom. Ooh, and you can tell, as you can see, hasn't been watered. Just came right out of the planter. Poor guy. Needs a water. That is priced for about six bucks. Little bird's nest sensevaria. I love me a good sensevaria. Now, if I can find a baby with a baby, or at least with two heads. Let's see here. This one looks like a good one. Look at that. And there's a baby right there on this side. I always love looking for plants that has that extra baby like this one would be a good one to get if I was going to get another one that would be a really good one to have but we shall see this is just the start of the plot adventure here Ebby are you having a nice time yeah you probably think mommy's crazy they have little planters here priced for three dollars a piece very cute this is interesting to me this almost looks like an alocasia but smaller I'm gonna have to get this as I talked about it now it's not in the greatest condition this is the smallest alocasia I've ever seen here's another one here look at this oh my gosh you guys not in the greatest condition as you can see all of the leaves here but if you do a pruning on it i don't know maybe i can ask for a discount we'll see maybe they might be cool enough to give me a discount when i don't I see know. two and i can't decide i look at the bottom i'm like okay there's four stems there four stems here so then i put them here side by side and I'm like, okay, which one looks better? I don't know. I'm kind of thinking this guy looks better to me. A little bit taller and a handful of them looking a little bit better than this guy. And that is how I make my decision, guys. These are my absolute favorite now. I don't like the way how it's hanging and drooping so low. Don't like that. But maybe if I stake it up. It might be worth trying to save them. We, we need help here. Oh no. I'm a huge fan of Tritoscantias. Look at this Tritoscantia, you guys. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I've never seen one in this variegation before. Look at that. I'm in trouble. I'm in trouble, Ebs. 
Look at this. Oh my goodness, this one looks better. Oh my god, how cute is your dog? Oh, so cute. thanks. You yeah, you can say hi. hi. This is Ebby. Hi, Ebby. One of my most favorite people in the world is uh, named Ebby. Oh, okay. Yeah, she was our own, one and only best employee. We run a little mom and pop Like shop. EBI, like shrimp in e Japanese? EBBIE. Oh, okay, close yeah, enough. Yeah. 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 Hi. Working, is she? Oh, she's she's fine. She okay. she'll say hello. Hi, honey. well, thank you. I didn't recognize. Yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> all good. Okay, she's so cute. How old is she? Seven and a half. Oh my god. Uh, you can hardly tell. Little yeah. Are the <laughs> Have a good one. You too. Oh thank my god, you guys. You're welcome. Oh my goodness, look at this. Okay. Oh my goodness. Okay, I am distracted. This thing is gorgeous. Now, is it worth? This is going to run me about $13. $13 for Tritiscantia. I try to spend under $10 when it comes to Tritiscantia. Like, for instance, the Zabrina, I wonder how much it's priced here. It's priced for the same. So this is the most common Tritiscantia, the Wandering Jew. This is like the variegation that you see all the time. But this, I rarely see this variegation. Like, I don't know, I've been only, kind of keeping my eye out on different Tritiscantias recently as I'm getting more in my collection. But that thing is so gorgeous. Silver dollar fern. This is like the maiden hair but bigger. This one is priced for about $15. Look at how pretty that is. Oh, gorgeous. And I believe... Oh, what do you know? One of my favorite plants. Crinkle Charlie, but I'm looking at that Hoya Obovara. There's only one of them here. My favorites. Okay. Oh, this is interesting. China doll. Okay. Let's see. If I can drive this cart, film, and have Ebby with me, I'm telling you to film when I have her with me. But I love her. She's my little buddy. Here's the Monsteras here. Ooh, this is another favorite section of mine. The Philodendron section. And, of course, my favorite. How much are you going for? The Alocasia Portadora. Don't know what you're priced at, but you're really cool. Okay, not that bad. So about $35. That's kind of like the going rate. Let's see here. You can always get them smaller. If it's in a good condition, guys, I don't mind getting it smaller. They'll definitely grow on you. But I'm gonna try to see if those two in my cart right here, if I can get them discounted because they're not in the best condition. It doesn't hurt to ask. It's rare that I do ask. It's like a grocery store for plants <laughs> the way how this place is set up wow let's see here let's ask this guy hmm. okay questionable I'll think about it because it's not in the best condition. They're rude. Okay. Excuse me. Come, babe. When it comes to plants. You know how plant people can be rude. Two and a half inch pots goes for two ninety nine. Three and three fourths and four inches go for five, and six inches go for ten. Okay. I guess it depends what's in it. I always say that wherever I go. Hmm. 
Let's see here. Wow, look at this. Priced for ten dollars. Hmm. I always look at these guys. Cuttings. I love me some epiphyllum hybrids, that's for sure. Okay, so these to me all look common. Nothing special or out of the ordinary as it comes to my collection. But that's fine because I got some interesting things in the greenhouse. Got some flapjacks. Wow, no way. This euphorbia goes for $60. Yikes, that is expensive. String of hearts here. Let's go down this section. The burl's tail. Some crassulas. Ooh, it's starting to get cold, Ebby. That breeze. So these to me look really common. Nothing out of the ordinary when it comes to succulents. Being a collector, I'm looking for the ones that I do not often see to spark my attention. But nice to see. And I've never been to Ventura before. Abby, you alright? You hanging out with mommy? Everybody wants to say hi to you wherever we go. Some variegated jade. Maybe one of these days. I'll go ahead and I oh actually hey this looks like the one that Catherine has. I should text her this picture. <laughs> That's funny. She got this from a little hole in the wall in downtown LA. Let's go ahead and take a picture of that. <laughs> Cute. Yes, it looks like yours. Yeah, the yellow rainbow bush. Okay, so I guess I can tell Catherine that this variety is called the yellow rainbow bush. So we were wondering if it, if it was because of the sun or if it was sick, but now we know. Yeah, I like how everything is in different categories. So here is this Crestula. I wonder if it's going to be labeled here. No, no label. I was hoping it would be labeled for me. Bigger pieces here. These go for 35 each. It's kind of on the expensive side. I always like looking at the Senecios here. Let's take a look at it here. Anything that I don't have. I will do a collective video of my Senecio collection. We got the Jokopsonii. The fish hooks. Ooh, it is getting cold, Ebby. So these guys go for 35 and they're definitely way over my budget because unless it's like a special plant like on my wish list, then I'll definitely go ahead and spend a big dollar amount on it. But otherwise, I'd rather get it small and grow it out myself. Got some arrangements here. They go up to $30 one. So I'm just gonna go through this section just so you can see how big this place is. It is huge. Perennials, brown covers are down there. And the native plants. I've noticed the nurseries I've been going to this weekend have a native section. California native section, that's cool. The veggie and herbs, that's pretty big. Hmm, bit of paradise. Wow, look at all of this. 
and they are not cheap. Seventy dollars. Wow, these things for your yard can get to get some pretty pricey amounts here. It is not cheap to have artwork in your garden. That's for sure. They got some terracottas and they also got plastic planters too in every single color your heart's desires. That's cool. I love seeing everything organized. Whoa. Look at all of these planters. Oh my goodness, guys. How cool is that? I think we should go this way, Ebs. It's getting cold. Catherine's texting me, giving me plant advice. So this plant right here looks like the plant that my subscriber in Arizona gave me. I'm not too sure. Could be, maybe, maybe not. Here's the Tritiscantia. And here's that one that Catherine was looking at, at the other nursery. Take a look at this. I don't know what the price is on this. The Tritiscantia section. Hey cutie. <laughs> so here's Abby. We had a good weekend. I hope you guys enjoyed this come with me out here in Ventura, California. It is on the windy side. So I definitely want to put on a jacket and head back home. Kind of interested to see what my plants look like as I was gone over the weekend and it rained. If you guys enjoyed this come with me, definitely let me know down in the comments below and stay tuned for a big collective California plant haul of all of my finds over the weekend i think i'm just going to group them up together in one big plant haul because i pretty much bought something at every single nursery over the weekend and i think i've been to five or six nurseries which is a lot it's definitely a a big adventurous plant weekend for me but if you guys enjoyed this video and you're new welcome to the channel hit the bell and subscribe button to be notified on my daily uploads yes i do daily uploads for this channel inspiring you one video at a time it goes live at 5 a.m so subscribe and support the channel. You can find more on my blog at ellajulian.blogspot.com. Until next time, aloha from Ventura, California, and I'll see you back home in Santa Monica. Bye, guys. Bye.